What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 Beta 2. Yes, this is the latest beta version that Apple has released for iOS 6. All you need to do is put your device in a DFU mode, hold the home and the power button for 10 seconds, release the power button, and continue holding the home button for 10 additional seconds. And once you do that, you'll notice just a black screen, something like this here and your screen should be completely black. Make sure it's hooked up to your computer, of course. Now let's head over to our Red Snow installation. It's Red Snow 0.9.13 Dev 1. You want to click the Extras tab, select IPSW, and you want to select your old iOS 6 firmware, the first iOS 6 Beta 1 firmware, so it can actually identify it. Red Snow has not been updated for this Beta 2, so you need to identify Beta 1. Once you do that, go back and select Jailbreak. It'll go through the Jailbreak process. It's really easy to do. Uh, this is a tethered jailbreak, and it only works, of course, with devices, A4 devices or below, that are compatible with iOS 6. Select Install SSH, and then click Next. Of course, this does not install Cydia, so you can look at our other video tutorial on how to do that if you wish to do that. So now it's doing the whole thing, doing the whole spill of jailbreaking right now. You guys are no doubt familiar with this. You've done it a million times before. You know exactly what to expect. This is no different. So... Once this completes, uploading RAM disk, etc., let's head over to our device and then we'll see the jailbreak process take place on our iPhone 4 in just a second. Here we go. All right, it shows that it's a tethered jailbreak, so we, we know that already. I'll show you how to tether boot here in just a second. Just go ahead and hit back right now on your red snow and just wait right here. Okay. And now you should see where it says downloading jailbreak data, etc. Again, you guys know the whole deal here as far as jailbreaking is concerned. And I've actually sped this up considerably so we can get through this really quick. The matrix mode. And of course it's going to take a little longer on your device, but it's basically the same. Just sped up some. And eventually you should see the Apple logo right here. Installing bundles, rebooting, etc. Then you'll be back at your Apple logo. And then eventually you'll be at your lock screen. And now we are, should be back at our lock screen right now. So there you go, folks. Now what you need to do next is just perform a tethered boot. And basically it's the same exact process except you don't click jailbreak, you click just boot on Red Snow. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the device here. You see I am jailbroken. No Cydia, obviously. So you really can't tell from out outward appearance, but you can SSH. Let's go ahead and put our device back into DFU mode now so we can perform a tethered boot. Okay, just holding home for an additional 10 seconds. And we are back in DFU mode. Now, let's head back over to Red Snow and then let's select our IPSW again for the 6.0 Beta 1 firmware. It'll successfully identify it and then just click just boot and then it'll go through the tethered boot process. So that really is it folks. Once you tether boot you'll be back up on your iOS device. You can use SSH, you can use uh, you know, any other kind of file transfer utility on the Mac or on a PC and you can actually install Cydia if you want to do that. Uh, you can look on our channel for instructions on how to do that if you want to do so. So folks, once you perform the tether boot, you'll see the little pineapple logo and you'll be eventually back to your lock screen where you can start, you know, taking advantage of your jailbreak. It really is that simple. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about the iOS 6 Beta 2 jailbreak in the comment section below. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.